This is the deepest place on Earth, known as the Mariana Trench. It's about 11,000 meters deep. Even Mount Everest could sink into it completely. Sunlight cannot reach here at all. And to be honest, even today, we know very little about it. But China has taken the initiative to uncover its hidden secrets. With their advanced technology, they have set up base camps there just to bring its mysteries to the world before anyone else. But why China is so eager to reveal these secrets? What is inside the Mariana Trench? In this video, you will find out. The Mariana Trench is located in the Pacific Ocean, east of the Philippines. From above, it might look like just any normal ocean. Clear water glittering in the sunlight, schools of fishes swimming around. But the deeper you go, the more its true nature is revealed. Up to about 200 meters, sunlight can still be seen properly. After that, it starts to fade, and the water pressure begins to increase dangerously. The trench is so deep that the massive structures like the Eiffel Tower or Burj Khalifa would sink here without a trace. At 1000 meters, sunlight disappears completely. This area is called the Midnight Zone where you can see creatures that produce their own light to move around. At 4000 meters, the abyssal zone begins. When a sea creature dies here, its body is eaten by carnivorous fishes and tiny planktons or parts of it become a waste. Over time, these tiny remains settle on the ocean floor, forming layers of carbon-rich mud. If you go a little further, you may see something truly surprising. Here a giant skeleton is surrounded by marine creatures. It was once the carcass of a whale. It became a source of food for fish, octopuses, bacteria, and plankton. Over time, they stripped the body down to bones, a phenomenon known as the whale fall. If you go even deeper, nearly 7000 meters, you will reach the deepest part of the Mariana Trench. From the surface to almost 11000 meters, you arrive at the Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth. Here, the water pressure is so extreme that it's like 90 fully grown elephants standing on every part of your body. Yet some strange species, like white shrimps and giant single-celled organism called Xenophyrophorus, exist here. The most surprising fact is the humans have reached Challenger Deep only twice. In 1960, Jake Speckard and Don Walsh were the first. Then in 2012, famous filmmaker James Cameron made the descent. In 2020, China's submersible Vendose carried three people into this terrifying depth. This marked the beginning of China's deep sea conquest. Gradually, China began sending more advanced technology into the deep. In 2024, they sent a robot that sized similar to a shoebox to the bottom. It endured the intense pressure, scanned the seafloor, and returned safely. Previously, only large and expensive submersibles could be used for such missions. But now, small robots can do it. What you are seeing here may look like a block of ice, but it's actually methane hydrate, or you can say it fire ice. If you try to light it, it will burn. Scientists consider it a possible fuel of the future. But if you try to extract it, it is risky. It could release a large amount of methane gas that could threat the marine lives. Here you can also see shells-like objects called polymetallic nodules. They are a source of natural minerals used to make batteries, electric vehicles, and renewable energy systems. They could become an alternative to petrol and diesel in the future. While other countries have stopped researching them, China has shown great interest. They have built base camps on the seafloor to continue their mission, and today, they are considered leaders in deep sea exploration. Now here's an interesting fact. You have heard of submarine cables, the network that connects the world to the internet. Millions of these cables stretch across to the ocean floor. Though they look strong, but they're extremely tiny and can be damaged by even a small impact. If these cables are guarded down, global communication could stop. China has developed a robot 
that can locate these cables at extreme depths and even cut them. If that happens, the opposing country could lose internet service completely. Even military satellite connections could be completely disabled. In short, the nation's defense system could be destroyed. The ocean is no longer just a place for research. It also has become a weapon. China is using this opportunity to its advantage, investing heavily in these projects. While countries like the USA and Russia have lost interest in deep sea research, China has taken it to a new level, powering up both its economy and its defense systems.